example, in classification, you don't just want to look at something like accuracy. Okay. You want to further break that down oh, right. into things like a recall and, pre and precision. Hi guys, um, I'm Nick. I'm a senior data scientist here at WorkSpot. Uh, my background's in uh, statistics and machine learning. And um, I spend a lot of my day working on recommendation engines. One of the common questions that I got from a lot of people is that they have a problem choosing the right model for their problem. How do you choose your own models? How do you go into that modeling uh, area uh, with you know, the objectives in your mind? And how do you uh, figure out that, yes, this is the right way of modeling that, prop that specific problem? So can you give some tips and tricks uh, or uh, some uh, uh, methods that the people can follow to choose the right model? Or is there even a right model uh, uh, in your field? Yeah, that's a, a complicated question and uh, you'll probably spend years trying to yeah. get those answers for yourself. Yeah. Uh, I have some tips and tricks. Uh, if uh, the, f the first thing I think of, say, when I came to WorkSpot, uh, is talk to the product owners, yeah. talk to the people who have been here a while, yeah. and you'll understand the domain a little bit more. Yeah. So my, my challenge, uh, one of my challenges, is trying to match uh, service professionals, um, people who perform home services, yeah. And uh, requests from consumers. Yeah. And so I really want to understand, as a human, how would I do that myself? Yeah. How would I be able to take the information of a service professional and the information of a service request and say that these two are a good match or they're not a good match? Yeah. And so really understanding that as a as a human yeah. allows me to say, okay, how can I express this in code? Yeah. And this is kind of something I've learned over the last two years, yeah. and it really helps me kind of get down to what information do I need to make this to train a model to, okay. to learn this. So let me give you some context uh, because it's natural for us to understand this because we work here. But what service request means is if you are a customer and you have some gardening task to take care of, you come to the platform and you register a service request. Right, so that my gardening task needs to be done. Once your service request is in our platform, uh, relevant service professionals are going to look at your task and uh, give uh, and bid basically give a price estimate of how much money is it going to take uh, for them to complete this task and then you choose them so basically this is what uh, uh, you work with so how to uh, recommend the right service request to service professionals yeah right? yeah exactly okay and that's where talking to product owners and people who've been in the business for a while yeah. um, sort of comes in yeah and how do you know that your model is uh, used to the best uh, like uh, the uh, result coming out of your model is really the best uh, uh, output that you can have. Yeah, so th th I, the, the truth is you can never really know. Yeah. Um, there's always more time you could spend, all this yeah. sort of stuff. I think what really helps is to uh, read widely about yeah. the, the, the types of models that you're interested in um, for, this, for that specific application. Um, that means look at state-of-the-art papers, look at blogs, read as much as you can yeah. and understand what sort of metrics yeah. they're trying to optimize, what sort of metrics they're tracking, yeah. implement that in your own project yeah. and it'll help you benchmark uh, you know, what, what sort of performance you can expect. Okay. Any metrics you can uh, tell, like I mentioned, so maybe it's interesting for the uh, audience as well? Yeah, yeah. certainly. So it, it depends very much on your, on your task, yeah. but for example in classification you don't just want to look at something like accuracy. You want to further break that down oh, right. into things like a recall and, pre and precision okay. and um, any mix of those. Uh, so it's really saying, you know, how is my model um, not performing right? Yeah. Try and answer that question. Yeah. 